stuff going to happen here within the next hour. Well, you're absolutely right, Bruce, and uh, the, the winner of this round goes on definitely in the money round, and yeah. we might mention uh, the, the prizes here. First place is 500, uh, second is 250, third is 150, and fourth is 50. And also, the loser of the uh, female and the men in this round will get a chance to go into the wild card. So we didn't mention that too often throughout this show, but uh, Mr. Peters brought up uh, last week as a good man <laughs> he was, and uh, I said, well, I'll check it out with Bruce, and... Uh, Unfortunately, unfortunately it, it is, there is a wild card for the loser in the men and the women. But this match tonight, uh, Stella McLean uh, didn't bowl all that good in her first two times on, but she bowled good enough to win, Bruce, and that's what counts. Uh, you don't have to bowl high scores. We've had, like, uh, I remember uh, one of your own staff here, Jennifer, bowled excellent uh, the mm -hmm. first time on and got beat. But yep. uh, Stella didn't, was not all that happy with her bowling. Uh, she did have 128. But uh, in, in one week she was on, but her scores are not that high, but she's, she's here in the money round. Her uh, partner, Judy LeBlanc, also didn't bowl all that high, but she's here with a 401, and uh, Stella had a 416. So this match is going to be very, very close. Uh, Judy's beat out some key people, that in uh, Carol uh, McKenzie, and I believe, uh, I can't think of her, the other lady's name, but I think she got two marks in the last box. Mm -hmm. I know she's here watching the show tonight, but I'll think about it when we're talking about it. <laughs> as far as Barry Sauer is concerned, what can you say about Barry? Very consistent, 128, 121, 114, 122, 485 for four strings, uh, very consistent. But he's up against a tough competitor, and that is Kevin McDonald, who bowled a 103, a 131, a 108, and a 122 for 464. So there's only 21 pins in the difference here in four uh, strings, Bruce. And, uh, you know, uh, Barry, I would say, would probably have the edge as far as uh, competitive bowling, but uh, Kevin's going to be tough. Jack, I just hope that all the bowlers that are performing tonight are in high gear like you are. Boy, you're flying. I mean, you've got the facts, figures, you know what's going on. <laughs> but it's going to be a good hour. And you mentioned uh, Jennifer, who uh, works here at Bay City Lanes. we just like to say that Jennifer Hilchey have a great trip because she said within about an hour, the big silver bird takes off from Halifax International, and she heads for Europe for a few weeks. So, hey, don't <laughs> feel sorry for Jennifer. She's on her way to Europe. She didn't make it to this round, but she's going to have a, a great time over there. I told you to check out and see what the bowling scene is like over there, so we'll have a report on that when she gets back. But this does look like a good one, Jack, and you made a very good observation off the, off the top. The loser tonight, the pinfall is important because over the next three weeks, the loser, male and female, from the loser, brother, there will be a wild card chosen, that being on pinfall. So uh, even if somebody gets down tonight, uh, it's important to keep that ball rolling and get every pin you can because that might be the pin that will put you into the next round. And as you mentioned, it is the money round. So keep that in mind uh, when you're watching the show tonight. Uh, you can be sure that the four bowlers we have performing will be thinking of it. Looks like a good show, Jack. Let's get to the action. Let's take a look first at our four bowlers and check out the form. And first, Jack, stepping onto the approach, take her warm-up classes, is Stella McLean. Well, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, female bowlers around uh, the Maritimes, uh, Bruce. Uh, she's one of the real nice sports, sportsman ladies uh, left in the bowling game, and uh, along with her and a few others that I know, but Stella likes to play the game. She loves it. She didn't take it up so late in life, and I believe Stella's only about 22 or 23, but... Uh, She's uh, coming on strong. The last uh, the last drink she had on TV, I believe she had 128. She throws the ball from right to left. If she has a problem, she pulls kind of kind of quick. But uh, overall, she's pretty straight down the alley. Okay, Stella McLean, her four-string total so far in this competition is 416, carrying a total of 401. Is this lady? Her name is Judy LeBlanc. Well, what can you say about Judy LeBlanc? Uh, she's got here. She beat some very very keen people. Uh, uh, the, the, the one I was trying to think of, she beat uh, going out when we were on the uh, opening of the show, Bruce, was Peggy Glenn. And uh, I know Peggy remembers her very, very well when Judy went out with uh, two spirits with good counts on her. Because I think Peggy was leading the last two boxes by nine pins, and Judy came back and beat her by about six. But uh, uh, she's over her nervousness. Uh, she, she bowled quite well. She had a 401 for her four strings, which is uh, very respectable, which is 100 average. And uh, she's bowling against Stella McLean, who had a 416. So there's only 15 pins in the difference there in four strings. So this match is going to be very, very close. I think it'll come down to the pinning, Bruce. Okay. An unusual style. You probably picked up it on, on it already, where Judy holds the ball in the right hand. It has that left hand over on the ball as she starts her, her approach. And we'll try to get a shot of that uh, again later on as the uh, match progresses. You met the ladies, now the men. This is Kevin McDonald. Well, Kevin's... Uh, can't say enough about Kevin. It, Kevin's got his accuracy tonight, uh, Bruce, hitting those eight-pin breaks, seven-pin breaks, and single pins. He's going to give Barry a tough go. Uh, I'd say this match is very, very even. Uh, 
Barry was in an accident, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago and uh, suffered a little whiplash, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt Barry. But if Kevin's got his accuracy, uh, Bruce, he's going to give Barry a tough go. Okay, we should mention that Kevin McDonald picked up $50 in the first round. He had uh, he was co-winner with Mike Venadim of the uh, high single at 131. This is Kevin's opponent. His name is Barry Sauer. Uh, very smooth bowler, Barry Sauer. Uh, uh, he looks like he's still suffering a little bit of that whiplash. Uh, Bruce, he normally gets down very low on the alley, but he's standing up straight throwing that ball here in the warm-up. Uh, he knows he's in for a tough match, but I think once he gets into the game, there's a great shot for his spear. But uh, very smooth, throws the ball from right to left, and uh, very accurate. And Barry is carrying the colors of Custom Machine and Tool on the back of his uh, sweater, so we thank the good folks at Custom Machine and Tool for supporting our sport, that, of course, the sport only. Well, you've met the competitors, Stella McLean and Judy LeBlanc, Kevin McDonald and Barry Sauer. The winner will move on to the fourth round in this competition. The losers could go, too, because there is a wild card in that fourth round. So even the losers tonight, the pinfall will be important because they stand a chance of moving on to that uh, fourth round. The, among the losers, the male bowler and the female bowler in this round, the highest pinfall among the losers will get a berth in that uh, very exciting fourth round. That's the situation, and let's get to the action as we now take a look at Stella McLean and Judy LeBlanc as they prepare to fall through frames one and two. Girls shake hands. We're gonna see Judy LeBlanc on the right-hand side, Stella on the left. Maybe we'll get a shot of the uh, unusual style, Jack. Don't see that too often. See the, the left hand now over on the ball? There you see it. Holding, holding, and now the hand comes off. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's a style I wouldn't want to teach a young bowler coming up, but uh, Judy is, uh, she's not old, uh, but that's the way she learned it, and she does a good job with it, and don't change. Yeah. Oh, good shot there by Stella McLean. Excellent spare chance. Both for girls Judy. on that front pin to start, Bruce. Yeah. How about this shot here, Jack? Unusual. See I think she'll play the dead wood and go for the action. For the, ooh, caught the end of it, Jack. Didn't get much action. Stella's got a tough shot here, Bruce. She's going to have to hit that, those two pins. She's going to have to hit it right on the nose. There's right the there. Oh, ooh, I thought she had it. Boy, hard to believe, Jack. Looks pretty good from this angle, but yeah. uh, just a little low. Judy LeBlanc will take an eight. Jack, we don't want to make a big thing of this, but it is an interesting fact in this match this, this evening that Barry Sauer and Judy LeBlanc are very good friends. <laughs> very close friends. Yeah. We, we, you know, and hey, you know that Barry's got to be thinking, gee, I wonder how Judy's doing. And Judy's got to be thinking, hey, I wonder how Barry's doing. Just friends. Good well, friends. They, they have plans down the road, and yeah. uh, they're a very young couple, and they get along well together. And... Yeah, a nice couple, no question. But here they end up in the same shell. Good thing they're not bowling against one another. <laughs> okay, Judy LeBlanc, this is her split. Pretty good, Jack. Pretty good. Good. Ah. Stella McLean, waiting, saw that shot. She's got a tough one here herself. And oh, boy, did she come close. Great try. I'll tell you, both girls are into this ball game here tonight, Bruce. <laughs> and a 10, Stella McLean, so the ladies, that off. Looking pretty good. 20, couple of 10s for Stella McLean. 18 for Judy LeBlanc, but she, of course, is open on the spare. Now, this is Barry Sauer on the right-hand side, Kevin McDonald on the left. And Jack, you mentioned it. This does have the makings of a real good battle here. It sure does. And, uh, Bang. Barry's Break thrown that Barry. ball very, very hard, Bruce. And... Seven pin break, could be more. Nope. Oh. Good break there for Kevin. One. That wood coming back for him. Just missing. What about this shot? Sir? Well, right the, there. Bruce, I'd say on a red band he should get it, but he might leave the five pin. There it is. Got it. Hit it perfect. So Kevin McDonald starts with the spare. Barry Sauer now gets nine. Jack, we have to say hello to all the guys who are in town this week bowling here at Basley Lanes in the Legion Tournament. They are just having a great time, a whale of a time. And in fact, they just finished up a few moments ago before the show. They'll be back again tomorrow. But all the guys are leaving there. Well, I'll tell you, the 
The boys from Cape Breton all say it. They love to get out of town because they really enjoy Dartmouth. <laughs> you know, the well, they're here from Yarmouth, the, the, the Cape Breton, and they're having a great time. There's seven pins for Kevin McDonald on the spare. <laughs> so to all the Legionnaires. Good shot. Great shot for Barry Sauer. This is the kind of shot that Kevin's got to pick up to stay with Barry. Yeah. Ooh, missed on the right-hand side. Did miss my bunch, uh, Bruce, but uh, Kevin's got to pick up those sevens and eights. Severe chances. Bang, gone. Well, Jack, as you know, this show is shown twice. It's shown on Sunday and then again on Tuesday. But if you're watching this show today, and if today is Sunday, from Jack and myself and from all the gang at Basic Lanes to all the mums, I'm going to say a happy Mother's Day. <laughs> And there's a few of them out there that watch it. Yes, sir. Peter Blount on the stair. I'm gonna get six. So all you mums, happy Mother's Day. And it's not too late. If you wanna come over to Basie Lanes, you know what? You can bowl for free. Free bowling for can all the Can I put a dress on? Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack. That's a good shot by Judy. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that was very it. close. Yeah. Now, Dolan McLean digging in. Back to the right, lose that wood. She could get nine, now she's gonna end up with an eight. Yeah. And a nine for Judy LeBlanc. And Jack, if we can, one more plug. If you bring your mother over to Baisley's to bowl, you can bowl for $2.99, the $2.99 special. All you can bowl is back. That's day or night, seven days a week. $2.99. Bring the family, enjoy yourself. Bring mom today, Mother's Day. She'll bowl for free. But the $2.99 special is back by popular demand. <laughs> Jack James in here taking advantage of that. It's a lot of fun. Stella's got a tough shot here, Bruce. She's got the seven pin, which is a nine pin break, but she's got bad wood over the front. She's gonna have to hit it over. No, I don't think that'll do it. Well, there you go. Wood came back. That's the shot that faces Judy LeBlanc for spare. Or I hope plus Ralph Campbell's not watching this because, uh, he... oh, oh, great, great shot. shot. He's the guy that does the stats on my calling, and he, he told me my call average was down to 22.8. <laughs> so, Ralph, All I right. just missed another one. <laughs> okay, Kevin McDonald on the right hand side this time. Barry Sauer on the left. McDonald at 27 after the first two. Leaves four. Then a Barry Sauer right here is open on the spare. Picked off. Wood coming back. Nope. And he got only four. Well, Barry would have liked to have a little bit more than that. Kevin now the four horsemen. Oh, picked out a pin. Wow. Oh, Barry found the hole. Uh, Kevin's smart here. He'll play the two pins, Bruce. Yeah. Oh, well, he did. Seven. The only consolation might be Barry's got a problem. But hey, he comes over with a great looking nine, Jack. So advantage there. Barry Sourd picks up a couple of these, just two pins in the difference. McDonald at 34, Sourd at 32. So. Donald on the right-hand side with a two-pin advantage. Just into the fourth frame, first string. Wood coming across. Power hits really well. Cut nine. Wood was good to him there, Jack. He's got a piece of wood rolling back, but we're going to see that in a moment. It's missing there. You see the wood coming to rest. Touched the pin, wobbled it, but no strike. That's a bowler's dream. Yeah. Should be fairly routine for Barry. Got it. Kevin McDonald. Oh. Going for the pole shooting match there. Tussles for eight. Four frames now history. Three bowlers open. Stella McLean, Judy Blum. Two ladies on your screen. Both open in the stairs. And Barry Sourd open. Five pins in the difference in favor of this lady, Judy LeBlanc. On the spare. Oh, oh, oh she's going to break. Yeah. Oh, she's going to get more. Action. She'll take six, Jack, and uh, that's a good six. That's an excellent six. Yeah. There's seven for Stella McLean. 
both pretty good spare chances, Jack. The pins look very, very loose off the sides today, Bruce. Hey, well, the Legionnaires have got them all warmed up, Jack. They've been beating... Good shot. Look out. Oh, oh great try. Legionnaires have been beating these lanes all day, Jack. <laughs> pins are hot. <laughs> oh, good great shot. shot. Tell them the plane. Might say, Bruce, we're trying a new method today, or this show. Well, we tried it last show, I should say. Uh, going straight through and... Analyze that for the fresh string. Yep. Things moving a little bit more smoothly. This means you're going to have to talk more at the end of the show, Jack. Judy LeBlanc, lane number 10. Punched out a couple. Right on the front pin there. Tough breaks there for both bowlers, Jack. That's a good out there by Judy. Yep, knife to pin across. And there goes the corner. She's got seven down now. Stella McLean's got to go to work. But misses on the right hand side. And an eight for Judy LeBlanc. Stone. Men back up again. Barry Sourd on the right hand side. Barry's open on the mark. Jeff McDonald on the left. Sourd. Oh, he's got a nine, ball. now ten. Barry Sourd gets the strike on the spare. And of course, the first strike of the evening, that means he picks up the case of Coke. Compliments to the good folks at Coca-Cola, smashing away at the middle. Was Kevin McDonald, tough break there. Well, Kevin's doing what he has to do, uh, Bruce, to get on that front pin, but uh, he's throwing the ball pretty hard today. And I think if he takes a little off, it's, uh, those breaks become nine hit breaks. Plays the other side and gets eight. Well, Sauer has got the spare. See what Soward can do with this, Jack. Well, I wonder if we have the new Coke, uh, Bruce. Uh, it Boy, it's all the rage, isn't it? <laughs> new Coke? Could be a double. Oh, boy, hit well, Jack. He's got eight, but uh, a lot of daylight. Good hit there by Kevin McDonald, Wood coming back. Yeah. He's going to have an excellent spirit. Change. What about this shot, Jack? Well, I think if Barry hits a, hits a far on the right, it should go very quickly. That should do it. Shot. Got it. He continues to mark. Good shot here for Kevin McDonald. Needs this one. And oh, he's just missed it, Jack. Ball. Oh. Hey, it looked like pinball down there, Jack. I don't believe it. Boy, I, I tell you, that ball came it. rattling around there three times to cut across and did not hit the pin. Hard to believe. Got to be a little frustrating for Kevin McDonald. You know, the ladies back up, Jack. There's just one pin separating these two ladies. The advantage goes to the lady on the right hand side, Stella McLean. She's at 67 through 6. Lady on the left. Judy O'Blanc at 66. Very, very close. Good hit. Oh, the results weren't so hot, though, were they? <laughs> yeah, it seems the girls who are doing better off the sides than they're getting off the front bit. Yeah, hey, there's a, a good action there for Judy. Yeah, some real good action. That's a good example there, Jack. It's going much better off the side there than selling in the middle. That's the kind of game it is, isn't it? Let's see if Judy LeBlanc can pick this one up. This would make it interesting. She's the one that trails by one. Set, there's the shot. Nope. Well off to the left. Jack, I gotta say hello to one of the all-time good people. <laughs> oh, great that's, shot that's there great by Stella McLean to get a tent. That's not Lawrence Myers, is it? No, no, no. I said one of the all-time good people. I want to say hello to Miss Beryl Montague. Now, Jack, let me try this on you. Beryl in the last 10 years has given over 11,000, I said 11,000 hours of volunteer work over around uh, their church and the infirmary hospital. She is uh, very, very well known over there for the great work she does. I had a chance to talk to her the other day. And uh, what a joy that she is, Jack, and uh, you know, 
And the hospitals can be pretty depressing places at times, but uh, she is the uh, local equivalent to, let's say, Florence Nightingale. <laughs> But no, seriously, Barrel Montague, to you, congratulations. I uh, know oh, you've been honored, but uh, 11,000 hours of volunteer work. That really says Tip something. Tip of the right. old hat from all the bowlers here at Bezos. And she likes the game, too. Make no mistake about that. So, hey, how you doing? Hope you're enjoying the show, Barrel. And uh, Jack says we tipped the Bezos mug in your direction. Okay, Stella McLean here looking for 10. Oh. That one get away a little bit. This is the shot for Judy LeBlanc. She's got her 10. So the advantage now is the three pins for Stella McLean as the ladies sit down and the men step up. 59, Kevin McDonald on the right hand side. 82 and open for Barry Sauer. He's on a tear. Kevin McDonald. Gonna start putting it together, Jackie. Hammer out a couple there. Now, Soward, he's got a spare, a strike, and now a spare. So he's open. It's there, gets six more. Barry Soward, coasting along. With a 29 pin lead on the Kevin Yeah. Soward for spare. No, nope, not this time. Boy, did he fly the wood across, though. Donald again. Oh. Another eight box. He's had three eights and a nine in the last four boxes. You know, that's not his style. Nine for Barry Sour Jack. That makes a difference exactly. 30 pins. Kevin what McDonald's. Kevin's going to do here, uh, Bruce, in the next three boxes, he get two marks and hopes that Barry doesn't mark. Uh, he's got to get this pinfall cut down. Yeah. I mean, it's a whole full string to go yet, but uh, Kevin's got to get two marks in these last three boxes. Yeah. Bring them all. Oh, looking for some help there. Off the side, got a seven pin break, but it's going to be tough. Very sour. Crash. Hits well. Leaves the horseman, Jack. This is not an easy shot, Jack. That'll be perfect. It's makeable. Oh, boy, he came close, Jack. Now, Kevin hit that one. It's uh, yeah. a couple of good spear chances he's hit this uh, first string and hasn't got. Very sour. Hit that one, too, Jack. I'm fine. Very close. Donald gets the 10. It'll be 9 for Barry Sowers. The difference is 29, but that's still 29 pins too many, as far as Kevin McDonald is concerned. As you mentioned, Jack, he'll be looking for marks in frames 9 and 10. Well, the ladies are back up. There's only three pins of the difference here. The lady on the left-hand side owns that advantage. So on lane number 10, on the right-hand side, this is the lane that Judy McLean, Judy LeBlanc, rather, is bowling on. She's the lady down by three. Tough break there, too. She was on the front pin. One thing about this first string here, Bruce, uh, neither girl are running away with it. No. Judy LeBlanc is going to just take whatever she can get here, John. Oh, Good. what did I say? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> good round of applause for Judy LeBlanc Jackson. Another good shot. Boy, look, put on the move. She deserves it. No. <laughs> Judy LeBlanc. Jack must have been listening when I said she'll take what she can get there. But boy, she made the shot. These girls are uh, putting on quite a show here this first spring, Bruce. Yes, sir. Uh, Stella taking her time. She knows every pin is going to be important. And this one, it gets that pin. So. See what Judy LeBlanc can pick up with a chest an excellent spare. Well, she's not to be taken lightly. Uh, she might be the lowest average girl we have left in this uh, third uh, round, Bruce, but uh, I'll tell you, she's, uh, she's doing some good bowling. Hey, you think Barry Soward hasn't been giving her a few lessons? Now, come on. <laughs> oh, she okay, let that one get away. Oh, stop the left-hand side, Jack. Only got three on it, but she says, I'll take that. She tied the game up. Yep. Well, on the front pin, Stella McLean, but there's the results, as you can see, but she does have the wood to work with. Judy LeBlanc, right there, second ball. Do it, do it. Shot. Good. Oh, boy, here's second ball. It's been terrific, Jack. Stella's got a shot here. I think she's right around the red band of that wood that's laying on its side there, Bruce, that's facing the camera. She could get, might be too low. No, oh. the hole. Ooh. That was about the, the worst ball she threw this first string. Yeah. Long. Gonna get nine. Yeah. 
Bella McLean gets nine here. We'll have a tie game after the first string, and she gets ten, so she's the leader. <laughs> Now, Jack, if that had been the end of the second string instead of the first, it would have been a pretty dramatic finish. A one bit win. Anyway, let's go to the map. Kevin McDonald on the left-hand side. Barry Sauer on the right. McDonald down by 29. This man right there, the owner of that lead at this point in time after eight frames. He's the four horsemen. McDonald. Now Kevin McDonald. He soured there. That's Kevin McDonald's shot. Missed it, Jack. That's one he wanted. That was a big mark there for Kevin. Yeah. Got to get one in this last box. Soured will take nine. Ten. So McDonald has picked away, taking one pin advantage in the last two frames, Jack, but that's not enough. He's got to close the gap. He's still down by 28. He's a, he's a mark there. Final frame in string number one. Barry Sauer. He gets well. He's got Ooh, nine. Good action. Or eight, he could get them all. Ooh, boy. He fell the wrong way. That's all. Oh, Kevin McDonald. Good hit. Wood on the move. He gets some help there, Jack, but still not easy. Right there, a job very simple for Barry Sauer. He's got to be right on the pin. Simple in the strategy, we should say, Jack. Not necessarily simple to make, but he gets it right. Now this becomes all important for Kevin McDonald. No, not to be. I thought Kevin would play that on the red band. Uh, Bruce would get the ball to bounce over, but he tried to play it on the inside. He's going to take nine. Now Barry Sauer's going to throw the bonus that he picked up with that mark in the 10th frame. But Kevin McDonald finished with a 96. No, that's off his game. Yeah. On the mark for Barry Sourd, he got four. Would have liked more, but he says, hey, that's four. So we'll take that. Okay, let's go to the scoreboard now and see how they stack up. Stella McLean and Judy LeBlanc battling in a very, very close match. Kevin McDonald trailing Barry Sourd. He's going to have to really make up some ground in that second string. It's going to be interesting, Jack, because we want to keep in mind, as we mentioned off the top of the show, uh, a guy like Kevin McDonald, who is down, uh, trailing Barry Sauer substantially, certainly capable of catching him. But uh, even if he doesn't, he has to keep in mind to keep that pin fall up because there is a wild card from this third round that will go on to the fourth round. That's the situation. And let's go to the scoreboard and see how they stack up. A Stella McLean battle Judy LeBlanc. Kevin McDonald and Barry Sauer do battle. Well, Bruce, a very exciting first match uh, between Stella McLean and Judy LeBlanc. Uh, we're looking at Stella, who's on top there. Uh, she had two spears in the first uh, string, uh, pinned very, very well. Uh, she dropped a total of five pins, which you like to see. Uh, that's around average uh, for the men, and uh, for the women, it's around with seven or eight. But uh, she had two marks with a total of 11 on them. Finished up with a fine 106. Uh, excellent bowl there by Stella. In the last box, I thought she had a golden opportunity to pick up a spear there, and she missed it cleanly, and as it turned out, the third ball cleaned them off. But uh, I think Stella's right around her average at 106. Uh, her opponent, Judy LeBlanc, who had three marks, uh, pinned not all that bad. She dropped 10 pins in that first string. Uh, she had a total of 15 on her three marks to finish up with a 105. And uh, I think Judy is bowling around 100 average or 101. But uh, her pinning, uh, I'd like to hear again, uh, Stella dropped five and Judy dropped ten. So that's, uh, that's why uh, Judy LeBlanc is down one pin. But this match is very, very close. Uh, we're going into the second string, and either girl can win it. But uh, I think if they keep bowling, uh, Bruce, like you mentioned, uh, the wild card, the pinning is very, very important. So uh, with, between Stella and Judy, uh, they got a good opening first string here in this third round. Now we move down to the men. Uh, Kevin started very strongly, Bruce, with a, a spear and then had another good spear chance in the second box, which he missed. Uh, and then he missed a, I shouldn't say he missed, he hit a nine pin break or an eight pin break in the uh, sixth frame. Uh, it should have went, it left up the, the eight pin, but his pinning hasn't been all that good. He, he, uh, he finished up with a 96. He dropped 11 pins at first string. And uh, he's just got to pick up those uh, seven and eight pin spears that he gets. Uh, I know somebody said in the background that the breakers are going Barry's way, but uh, Kevin's been on the front pin quite a bit. 
but he's punching through. So uh, Kevin McDonald after the first string, 96. His opponent, Barry Sauer. What can we say about Barry? He's got four spears and one strike. Picks up the case of Coke. Finished with a strong 129. Uh, he got a spear in the last box with four on it. Uh, put his hands up in the air, but I know he'll take 129. Very consistent forward. He dropped a total of about five pins. Uh, it's pretty hard to drop pins, Bruce, when you have five marks in one string. So he had five nine boxes in there, but at 129, we have Barry Sauer leading Kevin McDonald by 33 pins. It's going to be a little disheartening for Kevin McDonald, Jack, as he started off in the first uh, frame, the very first frame with the spare, got seven on it. So right out of the chutes, he was 17. Sauer only had nine. So uh, all of a sudden, uh, you got McDonald up by eight to start off, and he must have thought, hey, this is going to be my night. But hey, it, it didn't work out that way. It was all downhill for Kevin McDonald after that. He didn't mark again in the entire spring, while, uh, as you mentioned, Barry Sauer picked up a total of five marks. Now, we've got 33 pins in the difference. Well, certainly, Kevin McDonald is capable of throwing the big game. But it's a little tough to make up 33 pins against a guy like Barry Sauer. He's a tough, tough competitor. Maybe what Kevin McDonald is going to start thinking now is, hey, look, I'm going to take everything I can get, pile up as high a score as I can, and uh, look at that wild card situation. And if things turn, if Sauer, if, uh, sour goes sour, <laughs> maybe I can win the match. Well, you know Barry's going to have 115 or better. And what Kevin? Kevin is capable of uh, giving you 150 or 160. Uh, he won the high single for the men, I believe, uh, the $50, or he was tied with uh, some other gentlemen. But uh, Kevin is the type of individual that can give you that big string, but he knows Barry's going to have his 115 or 120. And uh, like you mentioned, uh, Bruce, uh, he, Kevin needs a big one just to build up that wild card uh, for this pinfall. As far as the women goes, well, I was going to say it's a horse race, but they might accuse me of calling them names, but that's exactly what it is. Just one pin in the difference. Interesting to note, as you did, Jack, three uh, spares for Julia Blanc, only two for Stella McLean, but it's McLean that's leading by one pin, so that certainly uh, emphasizes the importance of pinning in this game, but that is really a dandy. Okay, we're at the halfway point. We know the score, the situation. Let's go back to the action, and once again, watch the ladies as Stella McLean and Julia LeBlanc continue their battle, and we'll see if Kevin McDonald can make up some ground against Barry Sauer. Well, it'll be Stella McLean on the right-hand side. Judy LeBlanc on the left. This is a good one, Jack. Very, very close. Wow, Stella McLean, after 10 boxes, his first string is leading by one pin. Oh, good hit there by McLean. Another tough, good hit. Good, though. That was a good hit there by Stella. It deserved a lot better. A great hit there by Judy LeBlanc. And she, too, has got a tough split, Jack. Well, Stella played the single pin on the right, either on the left. No, she's going on the right. How about this one? Well, I think if Judy hits it around the red band, she should have it. No problem at all. Just anywhere around that middle pin. Looks pretty good. Hey, she's got it. Good shot. Missing. So an eight box for Stella McLean with a great shot by Judy LeBlanc. Gives her the mark, gives her the edge in the early going here. She now leads by a pin, Jack, and she's open. Uh, both girls are on the front pin there, and that's what you like to see. Uh, Judy come up with the best break, but uh, oh, Stella's right back on it again. Good hit there. I think both now, these girls are going to have good scores, Bruce. Yeah. Judy LeBlanc here, open on the mark. Good ball. Well, picks up seven, now eight, nine, a big count of nine, Jack. We'll get back to that one in a moment. This is Stella McLean. All of a sudden, oh, a little pressure. Good. Okay, Jack, what about this shot here? You go right on the pin. Oh, yeah, definitely, the wood. yeah. She's got enough room to get that ball by the nose of that wood, and uh, it might be her bad side, but uh, she's playing the wood. Yeah. And she's going to get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she said the wood lying down looked much bigger than the pin standing up. <laughs> So, Judy LeBlanc comes out quickly with a couple of spares. She's flying right now. Kevin McDonald and Barry Sauer now step up. Kevin McDonald on the right-hand side. He's down by 33 pins. He's got to be a little concerned. Out to the right-hand side, but gets a pretty good break. Six pins split. Sauer on the front pin, gets six also. Donald Lairs gets the spares. Kevin McDonald starts out. Well, that's the way he started his first string, too, Bruce. So he's, he 
Jones. Got to stretch him out. Yeah. Very thorough missing there. Jack, those who are wondering the Paul Jones jackpot, $1,188. $1,188. Ten o'clock Sunday morning, Bayes Lane's Pine Street Deck drop by their daily prices. Even if the jackpot doesn't go, but more importantly, a lot of fun. Now you want to be part of that? Drop by. A lot of money been given away. Chance to sharpen up your eye. Oh, good hit there. He's got nine. Looking for ten. Should have had them all. That's yeah. a good hit. Sure was. Very soured now. Struggling. Kevin McDonald. He is making the run, no question about it. Once this one, bang, he's got a couple of marks for Kevin McDonald. Puts a lot of pressure on the man looking at this shot for spare. Barry Sauer, Sauer's off to the right-hand side. Barry Sauer was coasting along quite nicely, thank you. 33-pin lead all of a sudden, coming out here in the second string. Kevin McDonald declares war. <laughs> They're gonna sit down. That's what makes it so interesting. Kevin pick up, picked up 12 pins here in his first uh, two boxes. Bruce, and he has a bonus ball. Still open, front. yeah. Boy, I tell you, they can disappear in a hurry, those leads. Now, Judy LeBlanc on the right-hand side right here. She's open on a spare. He's at 29 after the first two. I would like to have a few more. Well, Wood's coming back. Jack's going to help her. Well, again, maybe not. He's yes, going to get a is. bunch. Look at who's in. Someone holler tim holl timber, Jack. she got six there. First two frames, she's picked up an additional 15 pins. Well, this is the type of shot. You've got to hit that front wood, and I don't know, Bruce, it's uh, hit it, it might go, or she could leave the five pins. Just watch the ball. She's wide. Oh, well, oh. what do you mean? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Who is your buddy who was keeping score for you, How do you, you like Jack? that, Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, big <B> boy. <laughs> well... Well, Judy LeBlanc says, uh, no problem, I will take it. And uh, give Jack a lesson or two after this is over on how to make those shots. <laughs> very, very interesting. Well, I must admit, we're on a bad angle here, Bruce, but uh, not looking for a No, Jack, you're actually, your percentage is very, very good. I just want to get that message across to Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I tell you what, look at Ralph down here to call a few. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Well, look at this. Nine for, for Judy LeBlanc on the spare. Is she on a tear? Stella McLean, meanwhile, just working away. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Judy won't get this off. She's got to play the pin, Bruce. Yeah. She's got to go right on the pin. Oh, oh I got it. Well, that gives Stella McLean a bit of a life because... Judy LeBlanc already been pouring it on. But she finally misses. Nine. Takes a nine box. Donald McLean, she will take eight. Barry Sauer on the right. Kevin McDonald on the left. Kevin McDonald is certainly making this one interesting, Jack. He's got back-to-back -back spares. Nice. <laughs> This is a good break there for uh, Barry Sauer. Leaves the one three, one two, I should say. One two ten, and Kevin picked up three on a spare. Needed a lot more than that. Sauer with wood on the move, Jack. He's, He's got, got it. it. <laughs> Backdoor policy. Wow. Took a while. Oh, Kevin McDonald. Well, Kevin had a golden opportunity there, Bruce. To yeah load that up and he went down hit the three pin and picked up three and now he's got himself a big big hole down there jack although these scores will be outdated by the time our show goes to air oh tough break that's a five box for kevin he had a lot of things going for him but slipped badly there he gets a five box barry gets the spare so things change very quickly again uh, these scores will be outdated, Jack, but they're going to pass along some anyway at this point in time in the Canadian Legion Provincial Tournament. Darkman, team from Darkman is leading. 62 and 10. Westside, 54 and 18. Then comes Whitney Pear, 52 and 20. Halifax, 52 and 20. Following that is North Sydney, Bedford, Ashby, Kentville, Anaganish, Sydney, Mine, Sydney, Branch number 12, Yarmouth, East Bay, and then Central. But uh, hey, 
They're just having a good time. That's the most important thing. But uh, for the Psalm Branch here at Darkwood, at least at this point in time, they are the leaders, and we do salute Harry Cook and all his crew. <laughs> Fine bunch of boards. Yeah, they have a great time. Okay, Stella McLean. This is Stella. Needs to marks. Yeah, she uh, all of a sudden finds herself down by what, 30? 31 pins, I think. One Bruce. pin. Boy, that happened in just uh, four frames because she was leading by one. So she's got to make it happen. Julie LeBlanc ran off three spares in a row with counts of nine, six, and nine on them. And uh, really, that's the difference. Oh, good second ball, Jack. Good out here by Judy. A little pressure here for Stella McLean. Oh, Jack, she made the shot. Came up empty. Got the seven. So LeBlanc leads now by 32. Whatever she can get here. Get two more. 34 pins. That's the difference. Stella McLean says, I can't believe this. What happened? <laughs> what happened uh, Stella's got to get on the front pin. Uh, yeah. She finds herself down 34 pins. Uh, she's got five boxes remaining. It's not impossible, but uh, she's going to have to get on that front pin and get herself some breaks, uh, yeah. Bruce. No question. She is right there, Jack. It's got them off. Good call by Stella McLean. Now, Judy LeBlanc. Judy comes right back. Yeah, she does so, right on that front pin. Tough split, though, for spare guy. How will she play that one? There you go. Well, We're moving in on the shot there. Going to use that wood? No, you, she played the two pins, uh, Bruce. Try to hit it on the outside, and it, it could come off the wall and take the five pin. It's a very difficult shot, but what you try to do is play for a nine or a ten. Okay. Goes for the two. She's got the got right the idea. Two, yeah. The other thing, Judy, uh, Jack, is she's got a, a pretty good lead, and she wants to maintain that lead, perhaps just pinning as well as she can, not taking the extra chances. That's right. Hey, you know that Stella McLean can't finish with that strike. She says, hey, I came here to win. <laughs> Barry Sowers and Kevin McDonald are up. McDonald has gained back one pin, three trails by 32. He's gaining back one pin after the first trip. He had a good thing going for a while there. Well, he's down 32 pins, and he's got to get on the front pin. It's well, eight pin break. Got some wood in between. Oh, great, great shot by Kevin McDonald. He's been hot and cold. And he's hot on that shot. Barry Sauer is back in the also. Two good shots up there. Yeah. Both men open. On his shot. Good count there for Kev. Very sour. Oh, on the front pin, Jack. Got only four. Big spear here for Kev. McDonald marks again. So McDonald in six frames, Jack, has got four spares. Look oh, at this shot. Great shot. Well, Wood's going to come back, Jack. I think it is. Hey, we don't go away, folks. It's still going. rolling. Two near the front, I think, Jack. Yeah. It was hit good enough to go. Sure was. There's the 10 for Barry Sourd. Men sit down, ladies back up. Well, right now, Stella McLean, she's the lady on the left. She is down by 34 pins. That's the bad news for Stella McLean fans. The good news is that she's open on a strike. Yeah, Judy LeBlanc here handles this. Real well in the second. Still in on that front one, Bruce. Yeah. Stella's got to get this one in there deep. She might want to be thinking double, Jack, because uh, well, not too bad. The front pin. She's going to have seven so far. Now eight. Not too oh. bad. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, that that changes things, doesn't it? Makes that spare well, a little more easy. She's got a lot of wood down there, yeah. but I'm not going to comment on that one. Judy's got a good shot here. Yeah. Oh, stop the left, I think, Jack. Yeah. Yes, she is. Okay, we're talking Woodpile City here. Close your eyes and throw the ball. <laughs> yeah, this is going to go, Jack. That pin can't stay up. Then again, you never know. 
Yes, not a shame. Hard to believe. That was a well, big one. Yeah. Big, big spear there for Stone. Sure was. Get ten, but uh, you need the spear badly there. Well, it's down to 24 pins and three boxes remaining. Pretty tough. You did that mark desperately. LeBlanc. Again, on that front pin, Jack. Oh, good Boy, action. She's oh, tough, right. man. I want to tell you, she's getting great action. But she's on the front part, on that front pin. That's what you need. There's a good shot by Stella McLean. Eight pin break. Well, Judy can even get this one off the side of that wood on the right, Bruce. Yeah. Uh, the wood on the left is not too too good, but uh, she can use that front wood as a guide. I think, she, I think she's got it. Right on the pin. Good shot. LeBlanc sprayer makes this a must for Stella McLean, and no. She had the sleeper in behind there, yeah. and uh, lots of wood. You'd almost think she'd hit, hit that front pin, she'd get it, but... Nine for Stella McLean. Uh, Stella drops down by 25 with LeBlanc open back. The men, Kevin McDonald now, 73 and open. Trails by 28 pins. Unless, of course, whatever he makes in this shot. It's Kevin on the left, of course. Barry Tower right here. Good hit by Sauer. Leaves two corner pins, though. Nice. Wood to work with. That's the shot. Full deck. Kevin McDonald on the spare. Got eight. Looking for nine. Make it maybe nine. He's got maybe them all. ten. Oh, boy. <laughs> then an eyelash. Gonna have to be careful with that shot. We'll get back to it. This is very that should do it. Oh, right. that right. pin jumped right over the top of Bruce. Can't okay, believe Jack, it. This shot right here. He's got to be a little careful with it, doesn't he? To well, he's got to gotta keep it on the alley. Yeah. Got it. He's on the side. Got the spare. But Kevin McDonald continues to roll right along. And this is important because even if he loses this match, his pinfall that might get him on to the next round. The wild card. And right now, Kevin McDonald, through seven frames, has got five spares. He's, got He's only down 19, Bruce. Yeah. He's got a He's bonus ball. Harry Sauer. Good. Eight pins went in a hurry there. Now Kevin McDonald, he's open on the mark. Oh, not one. See that, Jack? Got five on it. He's only down now by 14 pins, but what a heartbreaker. Big shot here for Barry Ooh. Sauer. He's missed. Well, he left the door Kevin open. Donald a life, yeah. Donald here. He's looking at those two pins on the left. Sauer for 10. Got it. right now, down by 15 and two frames. Got Stella McLean down by 25. Stella on the right-hand side. Judy LeBlanc on the left. McLean. Oh, good hit. Looking for 10. Got nine. Good spare chance. Boom, baby. It's pretty good herself. Well, one thing is very clear, Jack. Stella McLean needs to make this fair. That's pretty good. She got it. Yes, she did. They're going to hang tough here. Again, keep in mind, of course, Stella McLean, should she lose, gets a chance to move on with the wild card bird if her pin ball is high enough. That's right, Judy. 9 or 10 now. 9 or 10. 9 or 10, Judy. Oh, it's real well. 
Picks up seven on her spare. Judy LeBlanc. Judy LeBlanc is going to obviously win this one, Jack, but Stella's got to think pinfall. There's no question. Ooh, found the hole. She's not want to do that right now. Oh, boy, the ball was on the plate coming back, Jack. <laughs> Good shot. Yeah. Stella McLean will settle for an eight there. So she is finished, and she can only now wait over the next couple of weeks to see what happens. She's mentioned, Jack, that there will, will not be a show next week. No, there will not be. Good hand there for Judy LeBlanc. She picks up the win. There will not be a bowling show next week. We apologize for that, but because of the men's tournament that's on, uh, everybody involved here are involved with that. So we decided to give them all a break and tell them, go ahead, go and uh, give me your best shot, and then we'll resume here in two weeks' time. Kevin needs two marks. He's yeah. down 15 pins with two, two boxes remaining. Kevin on the right-hand side has got a real problem. You saw Judy LeBlanc make this shot earlier, Jack, or at least one very similar to it. I think the pins you're looking at there were just reversed. Oh, not the B. Bauer's got the spare. That nails away the victory. Good pressure shot there yeah. by Barry. Six spots for Kevin McDonald. Look, he's bowled so well, Jack. He's at 112 right now after nine frames. But he's got a five box and he's got a six box in there. Go along with his five spares. So it's uh, all or nothing for Kevin McDonald. Well, he'd like to get a mark here to get about to 130. And... Yeah. Top up, Jack. Very soured on the spare. Hits well. Got nine. Boy, he's tough, Jack. <coughs> Just missing. Hit well. Very soured, Jack, has impressed me over the last couple of years. Eyes. Uh, very keen. Yes, sir. Soured gets the spare. Kevin McDonald shakes hands, sits down. Very interesting finish. Kevin McDonald, well, like Stella McLean, just have to hope that his pinfall is high enough. Very sour enough, throwing his bonus ball. After the spare in the 10th frame, we'll get seven. And that's the way it'll end. Very sour to Judy LeBlanc will now move on to round number four in this Rotten Singles Championship. An excellent match, an excellent shot making, as I mentioned just a moment ago, for Stella McLean and Kevin McDonald. Well, it might be all over, but then again, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see because the two boys, male and female with the highest pinfall of the losers, moves on to round number four. So we'll have to wait a couple of weeks to see what happens there. Right now, let's go once again as we talk to the winners. Get a wrap. Get a wrap. With me is Barry Sauer, our uh, male winner tonight. Barry is going to be uh, male before female in this particular instance. So you going before Judy, but uh, we want to talk about the match tonight. Kevin McDonald down after the first string. Really didn't fight back. He had something like five marks in the first seven frames in the second. Looked like he might be going to throw the big string, but he was hot and cold. But you had to be kind of watching him, aware of him, and aware that he was coming at you. Oh, yeah, well, of course. Uh, Kevin's that type of bowler. You get up on him, and you let him back up, come back and do a number on you. Car action a few weeks ago, Barry, you hurt the next. It appears to be all the field right now. Yeah, it feels really good now, Bruce. I'm getting back in the ball in a bit. It was off for a while and lost my touch, so to speak. But I'm, I felt good up there tonight. One of the first times on the ball on TV that I actually felt good. Look very sharp. Now, we're going to talk about something here, Barry. <laughs> you had your mind on two things here tonight. You wanted to, uh, to win your match against Kevin McDonald, but you also were watching the ladies very closely because we talked about you and Judy are. Very good friend. <laughs> but you had to be wondering, you know, concerned about her, watching her game, seeing how she was doing. Well, I was sometimes more than mine. You know, I, I had to watch out for Kevin because, you know, you, you know what Kevin's like yourself. And I had to try and beat him and help Judy beat Stella because that was a good rivalry too, you know. 
Okay, we just know that you're going to now go out and take uh, Judy out and have a steak or something. No, she's take me <laughs> oh, is she? <laughs> Congratulations, Barry. Look forward to seeing you around four. Okay, Barry Soward, our male winner tonight. Now let's go to Jack and uh, Judy LeBlanc. Jack. Thank you, Bruce. Well, Judy, uh, here you are. I was talking to you. Uh, you bowled last week to finish off the second round. Here you are in the start of the third round. And you said, uh, while Bruce was talking to your boyfriend there, Barry, that. Uh, you want to redeem yourself, and you sure did. You bowled 105 and 128 for 233. You got to be pleased. Very. It's a lot better than last week. You had, think you had a chance going in with Stella? I don't know. I just know I had to concentrate a lot more than I was the first one. No, Stella didn't bowl all that bad. She had 106 and 101 for 207. Uh, you were down one pin going into the, the second string, but uh, to bowl 128, you started out with three spears. I think you had four in the second string for a fine string of 128. Uh, that's pretty tough to beat. I dropped, like, I threw off first away, and I had a lot of luck. Stella had bad luck, but I had a lot of luck with me tonight. Yeah. Well, Judy, all we can say is that you're in the money round. Uh, the, the worst you can do is $50, and uh, I know you like to do better than that. Yeah, I so. See you in the next round. Thanks. Okay. Bruce? Okay, Jack. Uh, nice couple. Both winners tonight, Judy LeBlanc, Barry Soward, for Stella McLean and Kevin McDonald. Let's keep your eye on the next two shows because it's a uh, pinfall fall. It's also uh, it's so very, very important. Well, I've just had about a minute left, Jack. I want to talk to uh, our viewers very quickly about the next bowling show. We're looking at teams. We're looking at uh, 